pay attention. This is the last Brexit video you will need to watch because it's the only honest explanation of Brexit there is. Whether you voted leave or remain, we can all agree that this issue has divided friends and families and it is tearing this country apart. However you voted, nobody wanted this. If you want to solve this problem, we have to start listening to each other. If you voted Remain, try and imagine how someone who voted Leave feels right now. They were asked a question, they gave their answer, and Leave won the referendum. Three years later, we still haven't left. How would that make you feel? On the other hand, people who voted Remain are worried that if we crash out without a deal, then it will leave us exposed to Donald Trump buying up our NHS. The reason we haven't left the EU and why David Cameron preferred to resign rather than deal with it is simple. In 2016, you were asked, do you want to leave the EU or remain? But the problem is that there are lots of different ways that we can leave, none of which were on the ballot paper. For example, Norway is not in the EU, but is still a member of the single market and the customs union. Nigel Farage frequently used Norway as an example of a successful country outside of the EU. It would be ghastly if this country was like Norway. Can you imagine it? Rich, free, catching your own fish. Turkey is not in the EU or the single market, but it is in the customs union. And then a country like Canada is completely outside the EU, but has a free trade agreement. So it's reasonable to think that when people voted leave, they could have done so with different outcomes in mind. Theresa May didn't recognise this fact. Instead of campaigning for a Brexit that everyone could live with, she pursued a hard Brexit. When she called an election in 2017, the public stripped her of a majority, sending a clear message that this isn't what they wanted. But she still didn't listen, and acted like the election hadn't happened. Instead of reaching across the aisle to the other parties, she tried desperately to keep the hard Brexit faction of the Conservative Party on side, and they rewarded her efforts by voting against her Brexit deal three times. Now look where we are. Boris Johnson is trying to portray anyone who tries to represent the 48% that voted Remain as traitors, that they are surrendering, as if we're at war with Europe. This is despite the fact that he himself voted against Theresa May's Brexit deal twice. On the other side, the Lib Dems just want to ignore the 52% that voted Leave and act like the referendum never happened. Meanwhile, they are happy to carry on with the harsh austerity measures that have destroyed this country. Both approaches divide everyone in this country into Leavers and Remainers, with no ground in the middle. Winner takes all, but we are better than that. We all know someone we love, a friend, a relative, a partner, who didn't vote the same way we did. That doesn't mean that we love them any less. The only way to resolve this is by giving people a final say. We need to give people a clear Brexit plan that, unlike a no-deal Brexit, won't tear up our workers' rights or leave us exposed to Donald Trump buying up our NHS. If you don't want this Brexit plan, then there will be an option to remain. But whatever the outcome of this vote, it must be respected. So, if we want to put the last three years behind us, if we want to heal this country and move on, then let's give Britain a final say.